Hello friends, welcome back to yet another episode of Trains Simulator. Trains 2019. Today we're going to be taking a look at another K&L product. So this is the Canadian National S1B 282 pack from K&L Trains. <coughs> this is a fairly well known face around Pennsylvania thanks to one of them being preserved by the Steamtown National Historic Site, Scranton, where one of these has operated in excursion service for some time. Uh, <coughs> as far as the uh, as far as history goes, these were built between 1913 to around 1936 with a total of about 400 and 450, 460 of them built. Uh, what else is there? History wise that I wrote down. Not a whole lot. Um, very highly successful design by Canadian National. They proved to be very well built. Fairly <coughs> fairly decent locomotives. Um, a handful of their uh, subsidiary roads ended up using them, such as the Grand Trunk. Uh, and there are uh, three preserved locomotives and one cannibalized locomotive, so one part source. Uh, one of those is <coughs> the fairly famous 3254 in Steamtown. There is the 3377, which is a part source for 3254. There is 3734 at the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Roundhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. And there is 3239 preserved by the Canadian Railway Historical Association. So, not a whole lot of them, uh, relatively, relative to how many were built. Not a whole lot of them that survived, but there are a few. Um, there's a lot of videos of the one in operation down in Scranton, uh, which is the set that we see here right now. Uh, as far as the K&L pack goes, there's only one locomotive and one tender, which is going to be this right here. Uh, no variants, no different paint schemes or anything, just this. So, hence, we don't see anything else. Oh, goodness. But, you will get a handful of uh, coaches that go along with it as the Steamtown Excursion Set. Uh, just be a uh, Central Railroad of New Jersey combo car here. And then, uh, chair car, a Lackawanna chair car, uh, I believe that's it, meh, so, nothing too wild and fancy, I believe the Lackawanna cars, uh, cars are the, uh, the Boomtown coaches, which we've seen a couple times, uh, as you can see, we're very clearly on the Eagle River Railroad, where, uh, that is one of the primary excursion cars set up for this railroad of boomtown coaches uh, as well as I believe the Arcade Natica set comes with a bunch of these so nothing too wild there um, the the New Jersey card pretty standard uh, same for the our, the combo car nothing wild but the locomotive Quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Now this is not quite up to snuff with like his latest and greatest. Uh, it doesn't quite compare to say the yeah, the latest K4s and such that KNL has put out. This is definitely one of the older packs. 
Um, ah, a little plane. That's what I had. It's like, what in the world is that noise? I forgot I had a plane set up to fly around out here, but... Anywho, like I said, this is not quite up to his latest standards, so there are some oddities. Uh, probably one of the more painfully obvious items are the 2D textures in some places along with boiler, the 2D rivets, uh, stuff like that that does absolutely stand out like a sore thumb against the latest stuff. Uh, but it's still not half bad. It's still a really nice locomotive. There's a nice little detail. You don't see all that often. The, uh, the auger in here for the coal line actually spinning. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> as far as details go, pretty typical auto fireman headlight. Uh, headlight doesn't look half bad. It's a little bit white for my taste. I think it's a little bright, but it's not the worst I've seen. Uh, I do like the idle exhaust a lot. The idle exhaust looks really, really nice, really natural. The generator exhaust, on the other hand, is not my favorite. Little cotton balls. Um, as opposed to this. The ambient steam right here and here don't look half bad, but the generator exhaust is just eh, not my favorite. These do not have a custom cab. They have the typical placeholder. Bell. This is a really nice bell sound. does have a functioning bell. Whistle. So the bell sounds really, really nice. Uh, unfortunately, it does have that really, really noticeable pop uh, where the loops kind of take over. That is something K&L has pointed out. Uh, I don't know if they've, if they intend to ever fix it, uh, but they do know it is. A, it is it there. It is an issue, but I haven't noticed it with the latest stuff. So maybe it is something that we could get to see fixed, but other than that popping sound, that horn, that whistle is really, really nice. And it does have a secondary whistle. So that is operated with a Q key. That is the sound of a saturated whistle. Uh, these locomotives were notorious for this problem where water would build up inside the whistle after a certain amount of time and whenever you go to blow the whistle you get that high pitched shrill screech right before it would uh, mellow out into its normal tune as it blows all that water out of the whistle. So that's a cool little item to be included. There are a couple videos out there where you can catch uh, the Steamtown locomotive having that very same shrill screech. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a neat difference. Normally whenever uh, k &L has a secondary uh, item you can fiddle with, the uh, uh, blowdown is what's included with the Q-Key, so it's kind of cool to have that secondary whistle. So Chuff sounds, movement, everything's nice and smooth. Cylinder cogs look meh. The chuff sounds are fairly typical KNL chuff sound. Uh, Nothing fancy there.
I don't believe you can change anything on the cars. No. Can't do anything with the cars. It's kind of weird. You can see the uh, the, the smoke from the stack there is kind of doing this weird jerking motion. And then, of course, the uh, the generator exhaust here with the cotton balls stretched out. Not a fan of that. Uh, the chop sounds aren't bad. They're nothing wild. They're nothing different per se, but they're not bad. It is very noticeable that there's no uh, no blending. To the change in sound files, uh, they just immediately swap over, so that's kind of eh. Again, not bad, just meh. Take it to a stop, see what happens. Got a tree off in the distance doing some wacky rendering. Got some exhaust smoke that's doing some wackiness. <laughs> So it's got a nice slowdown period. You know, it's not a a zero or a sixty to zero stop. So that's not bad. Uh, but yeah. So fairly short video today. Nothing wild. Nothing crazy. Uh, it is definitely an older model, but it is still a really nice one. Uh, and it is a pack with a preserved model for those of you that are into having all preserved stuff in your stock um, it's definitely worth checking out for a lot of the Canadian routes that are available it makes a really nice locomotive for that uh, to my knowledge Steamtown has never been done for trains so unfortunately we don't have that to operate it with the Steamtown set but it does still make a nice addition for most other places so do go check them out. They are very much still available on K&L trains. Um, so yeah, as always, link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, see you next time.